I am so glad our first guests are here. They took country music by storm in the early 80s, and now they're back. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... The Kentucky Headhunters! That a girl. Have just learned to rear back and rock. Oh. You know, you might have a future in this business. Oh, no, we just get laid back too much. Oh, yeah. You're, you're way too relaxed, aren't you? Well, we had to get on it. This lady out here yoga. Yeah. Oh, How do you yeah. follow Alice? We had a good job, baby. Yeah. Great, yeah. Job. Great, great job. Great job. Great job. Let's give her a high start. I told the boys up there, just do the best you can because he's already got us now. <laughs> well, let the Ooh. folks know who everybody is. This is Richard Young, Doug Phelps, Greg Martin. Fred Young and Anthony Kenny here. Thank you guys all for being here. It's our pleasure. Appreciate it very much. Doug, great to have you back. Well, it's good to be back. It's Believe wonderful that. to have you back. Make six of them. There you go. <laughs> good to have you. Doug, uh, Doug, of course, left for a while with his brother and that sort of thing. He came back, and uh, it's, it's really, it's odd to see. You know, you think that... Uh, anything can work, but there's a chemistry that certain people uh, really like, and they like to hear 
Uh, Phelps boys with the uh, headhunter music, and we're mighty proud to have you. No, it's a good thing. Marriage made in heaven. It is. It's a good thing. It sure is. 30 years you guys been playing? No, I'm not 30 <laughs> years? 29. 29. 29. 29. And, and hold it. Hold it. Just hold it right there. Yeah, we, uh, we started in 1968, so, uh, of course, there was Fred, Anthony, Greg, and I, yeah. uh, when we were kids out the old farmhouse, our grandmother gave us a farmhouse in 1968 on one of our farms, and she didn't, that was her smart way of making sure we didn't run around and get in trouble. Smart lady. That's right. And, but we still got in trouble. Yeah, now, well, okay. but, you know, <laughs> anyway. but no, it was great to have that growing up, and it gave us a place for us and all of our friends to hang out. And uh, when Doug came back in December of 95, and we sat down and talked, that's where we got together, and it's where we wrote the new album, that sort of thing. And Homecoming. Yeah. It really like was. It. You but guys have had some interesting names throughout history. It was Truce, right? That was in, yeah, 1968, 69. Aftermath, somewhere in there. Uh-huh. And Itchy Brother. That was that was my favorite until the... <laughs> Itchy Brother. Itchy until Brother. Hunters. How many people remember King Leonardo and Friends? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. Cartoon? The cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the only... Greg and I were... A little bit older than other boy than Fred and Anthony were the youngest, and it, we couldn't get them to practice book till King Leonardo and friends would go off. <laughs> so that's why we decided on that name. But wow. uh, of course, eventually in '86, then it became the Headhunters. Yeah. And we cannot kick it. We've had a great time. Hang our, on to it. Our parents and and our wives and children. Everybody's been so supportive to allow us to be. Uh, uh, Spanky and our gang all mm -hmm. our life. <laughs> <laughs> after after uh, almost 30 years, yeah. there must be a million stories. There's any of them you can tell? Any no. Of them? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's real funny because we were sitting backstage and the UPI guy from UPI Radio, uh, I want to hear some road stories. And we was like, well, everything we can tell is too boring. So, you know, we can't do that. We could tell you about uh, some of the... Some of our favorite gigs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had, didn't you have something blow up on you at one point? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. About 19, uh, 1978, we were playing in our hometown, and of course we were the hometown heroes and that sort of thing. And my wife and I had been going together for five years. Yeah. And uh, I guess she got tired of waiting on me, you know, uh, when are we going to get married and all this sort of stuff. And I was, didn't want to get married, you know. But uh, anyway, see, we kind of called it quits. And uh, I have to thank Don Taylor, who's been with us, one of our friends, our road crew. Uh, we used to have these things called flash pots, and you're supposed to put a quarter of a stick of dynamite in them. And uh, that ought to be powder. Powder. That ought to be a plenty. No, powder. <laughs> powder. Yeah. powder. Yeah. Yeah. And so you've seen these things blow up, but Don, he, he gets excited sometimes. <laughs> he put a, a whole bunch in there. And uh, I happened to be standing pretty close to this one when it went off. And uh, the only thing that saved my hair is I had a vest on. It kind of wrapped it around. I look like uh, you see these army movies where they throw these hand grenades and these guys kind of come Boom! Kind of look like that. And uh, my wife was there with her new boyfriend. And she wasn't my wife. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and uh, so, uh, anyway, to make a long story short, my wife was a hairdresser. And... Uh, of course, she was still my girlfriend then, yeah, Gary. You sure. know what I mean. I understand. But uh, <laughs> her, her new boyfriend, I imagine they had a great night because they had to take me, sitting in the middle, with my hair messed up, and they just took me over to her beauty shop, and that boy went to sleep in that other chair, and he should have never done that. Uh-uh. <laughs> so we went together a couple more years, and we've been married 17 years. There you go. There you go. That's good show. This, folks... If you like to put on a record and just rock, you'll drive too fast now. Be sure and put the cruise control on before you put this thing in in your car. It's a great record. Thank really you, good. Thank you. I have admired you guys for a long time. I just love what you do, and I'd, I'd love to play with you at some point. Just If it ever arises, just let it be known. I'd love to be just a... Well, just bring a stack of marshals and you come up. Yeah, I'll do it. Gary? Yeah. Ooh. Is that what it takes? Uh, the only way. I'm going to tell you something. We'd like to have you come out and sing with us, but I'm, we want to give you this. And if you ever come out, you're going to have to work because you ain't got enough hair. I don't have enough hair. <laughs> Fred, to start with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, I'm missing you know. Hey, yeah. Don't go away. Frank Olivier is going to try to hurt me when we come back. Primetime Country is brought to you in part by Lipton Iced Tea. Feel the magic of Lipton Iced Tea. I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. If you live in the Nashville area, you can catch these guys tomorrow night at Dancing in the District. It'll be a party from the new CD, Stomping Grounds. Once again, the Kentucky Headhunter. <laughs> Show.